The use of technology in mathematics at the primary school level has always been a debated topic, mainly because of two reasons. One is that some teachers don't know or understand how to use it. And the second reason is that some teachers believe students should work through problems without any outside aid. This past practicum in a kindergarten class has taught me just how valuable technology can be in the classroom. I was with the class for two weeks and in this period had to do a total of eight lessons in mathematics. But since kindergarten has maths groups, I had to think of three different activities each lesson for the three different tables. You'd think this was quite simple, but finding creative activities for teaching the numbers 1 to 20 and shapes got a bit tough towards the end. Luckily for me, my cooperating teacher was pretty savvy with the interactive whiteboard in her room and showed me how to use some of the programs, in particular, Notebook. After a lunchtime of playing around with the different functions, I decided to make my own introduction and culmination activities for my lessons. I made activities which included number lines, shape sorting, and ordering of numbers. These activities made it very easy to engage the students and also allowed me to keep a variety in my lessons. Now, regarding calculators and computers, Devenberg and Doll and Wright refer to these as learning technologies. Groves in Zevenbergen et al. comments on how in the past, students in their first two years of schooling did not go beyond working with the numbers 1 to 20. Through the use of calculators, teachers can develop young students' number sense to four or more digit numbers. This hence allows for advancement of their mathematical thinking, not replacing skill development. Mm -hmm.